The objective is to solve division problems with a zero in the dividend or with a zero in the quotient. Read the problem with me. 503 divided by 4. You'll notice there is a zero within our dividend, what it is that we're dividing. We'll still start with the hundreds, and with that 5, those 5 hundreds, and we'll divide it by 4. We get 1, because 1 times 4 is 4, and 5 minus 4 is 1. Here's what it would look like within a place value chart. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Where we had that number modeled, the 500, 3 modeled, and then we divided it into those four groups. So those 500s, we could distribute four of them there, leaving us with one more. When we bring down that zero within the standard algorithm, what we're doing is we are regrouping that hundred and rewriting it as ten tens. Next, we'll take those ten tens and we'll divide it amongst those four groups so that we now have two that are left over. Those two will end up renaming as 20 ones. And so we'll see that within the standard algorithm as well. 10 divided by 4 is 2, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 10 minus 8 is 2, and we bring down the 3. So we end up with 23 ones here that we are dividing by um, let's see, we're dividing by 4. And when we do that, we end up having 5 within each of those groups. With the remainder of 3. And that's why we take that last step there to be able to work that out. And just as our standard algorithm shows, and our place value chart, we do have that same answer there. We do have that same answer there. Let's show another problem here. We have 2,416, and we're dividing by 3. We'll start with that place value chart and modeling it completely within the place value chart. The number there, and in this case, we're dividing by 3. So that's why there's going to be 3 groups here. Next, we start our division. Well, these 2000s, I cannot distribute into those groups there, so I must regroup each of those thousands into the hundreds place. Ten for each of those thousands that I am regrouping. So I have 24 hundreds there that I'm dividing by three. And when I take 24 hundreds and I divide it by three, I'll get eight within each of those groups. That is all of them, 24 divided by the 3. Because 8 times 3 is 24, and 24 minus 24 is 0. Next, I bring down the 1. So I have that 110 that I'm trying to distribute into those three groups. And you'll notice that there's going to be 0 tens within each of those groups. Because that 1 needs to be exchanged for 10 ones. 
So within the standard algorithm, what that means is that 1, when we were dividing by that 3, it is 0. There's 0 within each of those groups. 0 times 3 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, and I bring down the 6. At that point, I take the 16 there, and I'm dividing by what? Right, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, meaning we'll be left with 1 as our remainder. So our remainder is 1, and our quotient, let's read this off, we have 8 hundreds along with 5 ones. 8 hundreds, 5 ones, which also equals 805. And remember, we did have a remainder of 1. So that was our place value chart solution for that. And to finish our standard algorithm, we were at this step right here where we were at the 16 ones that we were dividing by 3. 16 divided by 3 is 5, because 5 times 3 is 15, and 16 minus 15 is 1. So our remainder there is 1. How would we do our check? Right, 805 times 3, and we would make sure to add back in that 1. And as you see, our solution does check. Here's a problem for you to try. Solve it using the standard algorithm and a place value chart. Pause the video while you do your work. Is that what you started with in your place value chart? As you were doing your work in your place value chart, you would have had to have regrouped at one point. And you have to continue your work until you get to the ones place where it looks like you'll have a remainder of one and you'll have three within each of those groups. Three, four, five, six that I distributed there. So reading it from here, we have 100, five tens, three ones, or the number 153. 307 divided by two does equal 153 with the remainder of one. With our standard algorithm, this, this is what it should have looked like 3 hundreds divided by 2 is 1, because 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1. We bring down the 0, so that we have 10 tens that we're dividing by 2. That's 5, because 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 minus 10 is 0. We bring down the 7, and we have the 7 once we're dividing by 2. 7 divided by 2 is 3, because 3 times 2 is 6, and 7 minus 6 is 1. So our remainder is 1. Did you run a check? Hope so. If you ran your check, good for you. Give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't, well, no pat on the back for you, and you really should be running your checks. It doesn't take too long to be sure that you have the correct answer. Okay, one last problem for you to try. Let's use the standard algorithm to go ahead and divide here and also check. Pause the video while you do your work. There will be a zero inside of your quotient or inside of your answer. Five goes into five one whole time. One times five is five, and five minus five is zero. So we've worked with those thousands now. We bring down the three in the hundreds. And with three hundreds, when we're dividing by five, we cannot divide those three hundreds into five groups. That's why we put a zero inside of the hundreds place there. We do continue that step though of zero times five being zero and three minus zero being three and we'll bring down the one. By bringing down that one that's 31 tens divided by five. 31 tens divided by five is six because six times five is 30 and 31 minus 30 is one. Bringing down that four our final step is to take those 14 ones and divide by 5. 14 divided by 5 is 2, because 2 times 5 is 10, and 14 minus 10 is 4. So our remainder is 4. 
Reading our whole equation, it's five thousand three hundred fourteen divided by five is one thousand sixty-two with a remainder of four. Here's our check. We'll take 1,062 and multiply by 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 0, regroup the 1. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. 1, regroup the 3. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3, and 5 times 1 is 5. So we have 5,310. Well, doesn't match the 5,314 because we have not added in the remainder yet. So as you see, we do have that zero inside of our quotient. And remember, our quotient is that answer to a division problem.